This slogan caused U.S. Rep. Rashida Talib to be censured by the House of Representatives. Rashida Talib is the only Palestinian American member of the House of Representatives of the United States. The vote was 234 to 188, with 22 Democrats supporting the resolution. Watch this video of Rep. Rashida Talib where the slogan is used. We stand with Israel. Mr. President, the American people are not with you on this one. Innocent civilians are going to be hurt going forward. I wish I could tell you something different. I wish that that wasn't going to happen, uh, but it is, it is going to happen. I want to thank President Biden for his unequivocal support. We will remember in 2024. Representative Rashida Talib's video includes a march in Michigan where the slogan, From the River to the Sea, Palestine Will Be Free, is featured. The Jewish organization Anti-Defamation League considers the slogan anti-Semitic. Those marching to end the Israeli occupation of Palestine, however, do not agree. Representative Rashida Talib responded in her tweet saying, From the river to the sea is an aspirational call for freedom, human rights, and peaceful coexistence, not death, destruction, or hate. My work and advocacy is always centered in justice and dignity for all people, no matter faith or ethnicity. This explanation, perhaps, was not enough. Or perhaps the power of Israel in the House of Representatives was good enough for 22 Democrats to censure the only Palestinian American in the House. The slogan may refer to the one-state solution where Israelis and Palestinians both live freely and equally in one democratic country, just like the USA. Representative Andre Carson spoke up for her. You know, this, these, this censure measure is a sham when someone who is an American, a Muslim, a woman, and a Palestinian dares to speak out for her people, she's told to be quiet. Stop talking about Palestinian brothers and sisters in the same breath as Jewish brothers and sisters. My sister Rashida is a child of the Midwest, representing the best of Midwestern sensibilities. She also exemplifies the rich tradition of the Islamic faith in the Midwest. She's a bold leader, she's a fair leader, and a compassionate leader, and most importantly, she's an American. Standing up for one oppressed people does not negate the oppression of another oppressed people. We should be working together to end this terrible suffering and eliminate these sham censors and get back to the work of the people. That's why they elected us. I yield back. Representative Ilhan Omar defended the rights of Palestinians. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. It is glaring hypocrisy 
when you have Republicans on the other side of the aisle trying to create definitions and say Rashida wants to annihilate people when Max Miller himself went on TV and said we're turning Gaza into a parking lot and we want to annihilate Palestinians nobody condemned him on that side of the aisle what is true here is that every single one of them has not acknowledged the fact that Palestinians are dying in the tens of thousands but will continue to say it is us who are not acknowledging humanity. Rashida will stand strong. Gentle ladies, time has expired. And the Palestinian movement will continue for liberation until every single ladies, time has, expired. has the right G to gentlemen live from Maryland in liberty. Is Representative Talib, however, remained defiant. She says she will not be silenced. I'm the only Palestinian American serving in Congress, Mr. Chair, and my perspective is needed here now more than ever. I will not be silenced, and I will not let you distort my words. Folks forget I'm from the city of Detroit, the most beautiful blackest city in the country where I learned to speak truth to power even if my voice shakes. Trying to bully or censor me won't work because this movement for a ceasefire is much bigger than one person. It's growing every single day. There are millions of people across our country who oppose Netanyahu's extremism and are done watching our government support collective punishment and the use of white phosphorus bombs that melt flesh to the bone. They are done watching our government, Mr. Chair, supporting cutting off food, water, electricity, and medical care to millions of people with nowhere to go. The censure resolutions are symbolic. There are no repercussions. Freedom of speech in America, however, seems to be more free for the pro-Israeli lobby than it is for the only Palestinian-American member of the House. Cease fire now!